now we'll learn how we can add components to our application window so there are different kind of components you can add to window and it may include labels buttons checkboxes and many other components so in this tutorial i will add a button a label and a text box to our main window so let's go to our constructor window frame and here create j level so j level is the class used for a level so i'm going to write text as the name and finally create a new j level you can pass a string to your j level so let's type hello world and when you will run your program the level will not be displayed on the window that's because we have not added this level to our frame so for that before we set the frame visible we need to add components so basically i'm just reserving the space where we'll be adding our components so you define a frame you set a close operation you set size you give a minimum size and finally you set the frame visible but before you set visible you need to add components so here we have created a component that is a j level a simple level and we need to add it to our main window so for that write the name of the frame and that is frame so type frame dot and call the add method and select the name of the component so our component is text so I'm going to write here text this text so now when we run our program you'll notice that the hello world level is added so let's try to add a button so it will be called J button and let's name the button as OK button and let's pass a name to a button and that will be OK and let's just add the button after the text so I'm going to write frame dot add and we'll be typing OK button run our program the whole OK button is taking the whole main window so if you maximize the screen the ok button will be taking the whole screen and this is not what we want so it's time to learn a new concept and that is layouts so every main window that you in case it's our frame after you set a default close operation you set a size and finally you set the visible there's one more thing you need to set and that is setting a layout so there are lots of layouts for us to use however for simplicity in this tutorial i'll be using a flow layout so for that before you start adding components just type frame and call the set layout method And the set layout method accepts a layout manager so for that we need to type new hold down control space and it will suggest us a lot of layout options to choose from so flow layout is a simple one which we can use for this tutorial so I'm going to select it so once we set a layout to a frame and we compile our application you notice that everything is in a flow so basically since we have added this text first so the text will appear and then we have added a button so the button will appear here so so now I'm going to add a new component and that is called a text field so a text field is like an input box where you can actually write some text so that's gonna be called J text field and uh, let's name it as text input
So the JTEXT field does not accept any string to display. However, it accepts an integer that will be the size of the text field in characters. So I'm going to limit uh, our text field to 24 characters. So let's write 24 here. So we got three components. We have already added two. So now I'm going to add the text field before the button. Let's see what happens. Frame dot add and let's write the name of our text field and that is uh, text input so I'm going to run the program now this is a hello world program so you'll notice that it is our hello world level this is a text area where you can actually write something and this is our button and since we're using a flow layout you'll notice that everything just flows so when you resize the window See, everything starts flowing. If we maximize the window, everything stays in the middle. So in this lecture, we saw how we can add different components to our main window. And we also learned how we can set a layout so that the different components will arrange themselves in a proper order.